Spice today. And uh, Drew and Karen Clark are here today. They're from Zach Spices. Hey guys, great to see you. Hey. Hey. All right, so this is a really cool recipe that I think um, it can be great for tailgating. Uh, it can be great for, like I have a 14 year old, I'm looking at this one. Man, I can see he and his friends loving this. He can make it. So, anyway. <laughs> so we're thinking, it, okay. Drew's a great assistant, what she's trying to say. All right, what is this called? These are Italian meatball studs on a stick. Italian meatball studs on a stick, yes. You put everything on a stick. Right. So why not a meatball stud? All right, right, so how do we do it? First, we need to make the meatball. Okay. Drew's going to do that for us? Yes. This is ground meat. You can mm -hmm. use ground turkey. Drew, you stood up. You might want to watch off the camera there. Okay, there you go. You All can right. use ground turkey. There's some okay. up here. So ground beef. Ground beef. And then this is half a cup of um, panko breadcrumbs. Uh huh. And then Parmesan cheese. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do half a cup of Parmesan cheese. You just keep that. And then up. this is our um, secret ingredient, uh -huh. our, our Italian black salt-free seasoning. <laughs> and so we usually put, we put two tablespoons when we made it with some friends and it turned out to be too hot. Okay. <laughs> so we'll just do one, one okay. tablespoon. All right. Um, but two if you're there. Okay. Okay. So you're going to mix that up thoroughly. Uh -huh. And then you're going to make little meatballs out of that. And you're going to make like one inch meatballs. Okay. So, so not too, too big. Not too big. Because the way you're going to eat them, right? It's going to fall off your stick. Yeah. You don't want that. You don't want that. It's too big. Okay. So, um, Drew's going to make those. Okay. But we've already got a couple that we made. Now, um, do you make them up and, and, and use them immediately or do they sit for a while? Um, either way. Okay. Like, I went ahead and made these to save time. Like on main day, if you want to go ahead and make them up, you know, the mm -hmm. night before. Okay. And then you have them all ready. Okay. Uh, Okay. So this is breadsticks. Just you just buy them. I'm buying the can of breadsticks. Okay, mm -hmm. that's easy enough. And then this is where your like knitting skills. Uh oh, here we go. Right, show me, show me. Okay, so you take the end of the breadstick. Okay. And you put it on the meatball. Yeah. Okay. Or oh, sorry, you put it right here. All right. So we're threading so it first. Thread first. Thread first, and then um, the meatball. And then you're gonna wrap it around. Okay. And then you're gonna put one more meatball, another meatball, and then this is where Drew messed up earlier. He put them all on the ball side. <laughs> this is where Drew messed up. <laughs> but you wrap it around the other side of the meatball. Okay, where you got it. You, so what you're looking for is the bread to be on each side yeah. and not all be exposed yeah. on one side. <laughs> I got it. Well, Drew, you tried. <laughs> so um, you're gonna put three meatballs on that stick. Okay. You don't wanna put too many on there because then it kind of gets smushed. So you want to. Okay. Stretch them out. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can just stretch that. It's not breaking it. No. No. All right. And you, if it looks like it's starting to crumble, just come kind of back together. Back together. Okay. And that's okay. it. That. that is that. Boom. Pretty walk on easy. So then you cook it mm -hmm. at 375 for about 20 minutes. Okay. You take it out. Mm -hmm. Of course, you've got to add more cheese, of right? Of course. So then you sprinkle some more cheese. Again? Um, you're going to bake that again. Oh. So you do 20 minutes just to kind of bake the meatball. 20 minutes at what again? 375. 375, 20 minutes. Take it back out, put the cheese on. Sprinkle. And then go back in. Well, of course. Yeah, put the seasoning in. Back in the oven for 10 more minutes. And then they come out like this. <laughs> Don't those look great? And then you can serve it with some marinara. This is, um, the guys are really, really like <laughs> that. That's really good. Is it good, Drew? It is. It is. This is good. See, actually, Drew picked the recipe today, didn't you? Yeah, I'm supposed to be yeah. healthy and all that stuff. Well, you gotta, you know, you gotta splurge sometimes. All right, well, that looks really good. If you guys want to try that, uh, we'll have it at myfoxal.com. You can also write us here at the station, P.O. Box of Birmingham, 35201, and uh, ask for uh, the Zach Spices um, meatball stuff on a stick. <laughs> How about that? So, um, you want. How much time we have today? Okay. Hey, so go ahead and we'll, while we have them, we have like 30 seconds or so left. <laughs> they brought their baby in today. So the baby's been right over here on the side. And uh, there we go. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> hey. Huh? Look at that smile. <laughs> and she put, look at him. <laughs> she is so cute. Just so, so cute. And then up. Uh, this look ma no salt that's what she's wearing because there's no salt in there <laughs> okay guys thank you so much hey that looks great i hope you enjoyed that uh,
as much as we did. We'll take a break. We'll be right back after these messages. Aren't you a doll? <laughs>